Welcome to Germany versus USA and today we're here in Malibu, California, Los Angeles, well Malibu but it's close to Los Angeles and um, we are actually right now in an RV park, in like a camping park um, and we're camping, we have an RV. Yeah, we've taken the past couple of days to travel down Highway 1 which is a very famous highway in America and we've done it in RV and it's he fun. Here we are. Yeah, oh, RV in, in German is a Wohnmobil. 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 Mm. Yeah, like, you know, Wohn, like living. But, mobile is like, yeah. But only the Dutch, right? Well, the, <laughs> <laughs> the Dutch are a little special in Germany. The, the Dutch are known to have like um, either RVs or, you know, like, like trailers behind their cars. And in Germany, we call the Dutch, um, yeah, we call them Schleuderwagen. Which means kind of fish tailing because whenever you see like an accident on the autobahn with like an, a trailer or an RV, it's always Dutch. It is. And yeah, I remember when we last summer we were discussing the stereotype, and within that same hour we got caught in a traffic jam because right. a Dutch trailer had flipped over. They they are just you know whenever you see a trailer, um, they uh, they're Dutch. They're yeah. Dutch. So here in the USA, the the RVs and the trailers are. Um, a little bit bigger than the ones in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> they are huge. They are just ridiculous. Our RVs are really just 18 wheelers. They're just houses with wheels. Yeah, basically you take an 18 wheeler, an LKW, and just make it a house. That's what most people here do, and it's amazing. I mean, they, you know, like the side, like the sides of the RVs, you can just like pull them out, like, and you can't do that. They have well, no. Yeah, Not in yeah. Europe. <laughs> yeah, like our our RV is only a 25 foot long RV. It's kind of small, and uh, we have a kitchen, a bathroom, air uh, conditioning. Yeah, two air conditioners, cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> but see, it sleeps six people comfortably. Yeah, and uh, this, so it's it's nice. We have a little tip for you too. If you ever go to California. Um, it is really nice to take, you know, to rent an RV. It's actually not as expensive if you consider that you can, you know, you don't have to stay in a hotel, you can cook your own meals. Um, you can just rent an RV for like a week or two and just, you know, up and down, go up and down the Californian coast. And it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of cool RV parks. You always have like electricity hookups. Um, they really take care of every, every camp. We, we even had Wi-Fi. <laughs> we had <laughs> Wi-Fi. Like we were just sitting in our, in our, um, in our Wohnmobil and our RV and, you know, had internet which we didn't expect at all yeah it's it's really a fun experience especially like uh, the past couple days we've actually had German neighbors oh yeah which I mean and these guys have been going up and down the California coastline same as us and yeah. you know it's funny they they live literally like 45 minutes away from my house in Germany they're really really close it's a really small world it it's really a small is. world it's fun I hope you learned some stuff about you know RV Wohnmobile and, and camping you should try it out it's a lot of fun it's really cool fun especially if you're with people you know that you can hang out with for a longer time. It's cool. Y'all take it easy. Wiedersehen. The Dutch. The Dutch. <laughs>